Nigerian guys, they just feel like, ah, it's my phone 2K, 2K. <laughs> that is it's enough. <laughs> oh, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gentle. But then you come to the house, I come and clean clothes, I'll be clean the floor. Yeah. That's the unquote wife material. We, we, that, unquote. So, uh, yeah, for, yeah. for ladies too, you give them something, it's, wife, it's also material. So it's too good. Also material. <laughs> okay, I'll go with funny love story in Nigeria. You know, we have Cleopatra, we have Bonnie and Clyde, we have um, Jack and Rose, we have... We have Annie, uh, Annie, Annie Dibia and Two-Face. Oh. Mm. guys welcome back to my channel my name is Vivian and I'm here with my friend um can you introduce yourself please my name is Issa Ayeni I'm a student I am a lifestyle blogger and I'm an entrepreneur that's nice that's nice thank you for coming I really appreciate it and um, today we're going to talk about um an interesting topic um love language okay. love languages a lot of people are really invested in relationships nowadays and uh we need to understand how to communicate with our partners in the way that we're going to understand and so that the relationship can flourish, you understand? So, and it's Valentine's season like this now. <laughs> so people can start showing okay. like their partners, like the wrong language and stuff like that and can start finding like frictions and everything. So we just want to help people to communicate well um, in their relationship and stuff. What do you understand by love language? What do you think love language is in your own language, in your own terms? I think... Love language is a personal way how you express love to each other. How you express love to your siblings and other. Mm -hmm. So um, I think there, there is this um, thing I went through when you sent me this topic. I think I read, I, I, I once read about five love languages, like maybe like mm -hmm. five years ago by Gary Chapman. And mm -hmm. then I think that's a popular um, concept. He, 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 I think he's the pioneer of the- The of love language thing, yeah. Oh, oh, two idea, the five love yeah. language, Gary Chapman. And then he has five um, love language gist you can use to express your love to your partner. Yeah. We have yeah. love connection, we have um, quality time, we have um, uh, physical touch, we have gifts, and we have an um, act of service. This mm. gift, I don't like it as a Nigerian, but. <laughs> Because you're selfish, because you're wicked, because you're almost no, they like your money. Because you're not like they now like behind the your idea of my own love language. No, so what if like love language? Language? See, let me tell you something. Uh, because you're giving somebody something, and I know that a lot of, there's a lot of controversy about um gift giving and stuff like that. It's not oh, about no. the gift that you give. Mostly, it's not yeah, really a about the gift. The it's just the yeah, thought, yeah. They yeah. behind the gift and stuff like that. But a lot of guys, a lot, especially Nigerian guys, they just feel like, ah, it's much more 2K, 2K. <laughs> that is it's enough. You <laughs> oh, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gentle. I'm learning this, to be honest. Most Nigerian girls take advantage of that. But they, 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 if you're going to say it like yeah. that, if you're going to say it like that, most Nigerian guys love acts of, all acts of service. Because yeah. Nigerian guys, they love when, oh, you cook for them, you come to the house, I come and clean clothes, I'll be clean the floor. That's the unquote wife material. We, we, that, unquote, so uh, and for, yeah. for ladies too, you give them something, is wife is also material. So it's too good. It's also more. material. <laughs> okay, I'll go with that. Go with that. Um, but do you think that uh, your backgrounds and gender and um, gender values um affects the way you show love and give love? When you say that, your like, environment, you your, your environment, where you came from, yeah, yeah. so yeah. so yeah, it does a lot, a lot. Because Nigerians, most in in, in, in an average Nigerian, home, in an average Nigerian, home, love expressing love in my house, for example, <laughs> I can I, I can say my dad said I love you to my mom, maybe twice or thrice. Mm. It doesn't mean he doesn't love him, but. That word of affirmation is not there in, in, in an average Nigerian home, especially in a Yoruba Lagos setting. Why you, why you, I don't know why everybody I talk to about relationship are always very um, specific about the culture. Like everybody, yeah. there's one I was, I was chatting with recently, and it was like, ah, it's actually Yoruba, eh, or Shun, this one, this one. I'm like, why must you bring it up? <laughs> oh, man. oh, God. Okay, I'm so, listening. Yeah. 
in, 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 uh, as an average Nigerian, mm-hmm. love language like words of affirmation uh, does not really exist. Mm-hmm. But acts of service really exist in Nigeria. That's what I'm saying. You see a man being the head of the family, uh, providing for the, for the family. But that's his right. That is not act of service, though. Yeah, that's the patriarchal system, right. yeah, that, the, the system in Nigeria is really working. Uh-huh. And then um, quality time, I don't know, man. We are always working and, um, you know, Papa will go, will go work. Generally, like generally, generally, it's hard to do anything love in this country. This country is not, this it's country, not uh, love. <laughs> this, you know, country this country is love, love hard. <laughs> love, the love story in this country is, ah, uh, no, unless, ah, uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, my God. Awesome. And then, yeah, but I heard somewhere, okay. I, heard, I heard somewhere that love, um, love languages are based on, um, but your parents, how your parents show you love, you understand? Do you agree with that? Yeah. Like how your parents show you love? I don't know where I saw it starts that most Nigerians love act of service. No, there's a result, there's a test, there's a quiz test about your love language on the internet. Mm-hmm. Most people, most Nigerian males that did that test mm-hmm. had their highest percentage to be to be um act of service. That means but you, but do you, do you feel do you feel like when people are actually feeling that thing, uh, they look inwardly to know what they actually want, not what society wants for them? Because okay. I've taken the I've taken the test, I've taken like two or three of love language tests. Okay. The first time I did it, it was just uh, I was just in that oh I want to be this one, I want to be loved so so, so way in, in my head, in my own fairy tale life. Do you get? And it was different from what I actually was. Do you, you understand? Yeah, what? When I was not very true to myself and being realistic that oh, oh, yeah, life, yeah. this is where you are and this stage of your life. And it was like, okay, okay I was very real and I answered the questions correctly. So I just feel like most Nigerian men or whatever Nigerian statistic is just because of, based on their idea of love, the idea of how they want their relationship to be, not actually what they want. Because... Talking to people, I realize that society actually contributes a lot in the way they see life, relationship, love, anything, marriage, and stuff like that. And I, I asked the person a question recently, and I was just like, why are you bringing society into it? Why can't you look at, okay, this is the dynamic I want myself and my partner well, to have. What do you want that yeah. as a person? Yeah, don't be telling me that uh, as a Yoruba person. No, as you, as you, what do you as want? You, uh, you, yeah. Yeah, what, but you know, but you know, that actually affects our our surroundings, mm-hmm. factors around us make art in some kind of way, you know? You know, some avenue will put you in a way where you'll be romantic, but be romantic. <laughs> some avenue will you know, put you in a way. It's like a fairy tale. <laughs> Me, it's like a fairy tale. You can't be, you can't be, you can be romantic, but you can't be 100% when you both live romantic. Just look at it in, let's just forget like why Nigeria, just imagine that, oh, you are in a better place, like in, in a, Good country uh, where things are actually yeah where things are actually working and people can express love and stuff like that. Um, according to what I told you, dear, and I was saying that um, your parents like how they how they love you matters a lot because like I want now what I want to ask you now is it that is it what your parents do not do for you that you want to experience or what your parents have been doing for you before now that you want them to, that you want your partner to continue doing for you? Oh, wow, wow, well, that's that that's that's a question I've always asked myself, and then um, the answer I always assume is I want a part of what my friends did and what they didn't do. Mm. Because there's so much they, there's so much things they did not do, and there's so much things I, I would actually want my wife to do for me. So I talk about all that people. So let's talk about you right now. So like each you, you've done the test and or before the test, what, what do you think your love love language is? Oh, ah, I thought the physical touch. I thought I thought the way before it is as a man, I thought it was physical touch. Oh, like, because guys generally like people that all of you, you are bad people now. <laughs> you are bad people now. Not only God can say Ah, mm, you have come. <laughs> so um, after the test, <laughs> so after the test, I, it was quality time. So I was very surprised. I, I think physical it's touch and quality time, like the because you can all say that hello and let us do physical touch. <laughs> you have to have time. Yeah. You have to like. Yeah. You have and to. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but, 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 you know, there is this thing in the questions they ask you that you want them to. Do you want your partner to show love to him in public? You know, as a Nigerian, 
it's not. I'm not used to PDA. <laughs> you can't be all gay in the streets. Like, it's, not like, I, it's, not even that, it's not even that deep. It's never all those organ and kissing. Even when like, it's annoying me, it's when I see my people. Like, I can see baby, yo. Like, keep it all get better. Then they're going to be like... Yeah, married now. Something was that's happening now. Yes, you understand? See, they're not, they're not you're walking up and down. It's all go left. It's all go right. I'm left, like, right. what do you, know you do this thing to give you the left? So why are you doing that? Like, we are all hypocrites in this country. We are all hypocrites in this country. Religious <laughs> wise, religious wise, we are all hypocrites. We believe, everybody wants to believe they are innocent, we are decent. But this does not have to do with sexuality. Mm. Does not. Yeah, Where must yeah, we yeah, hide yeah. the fact that? Where must we hide the fact that we love somebody? What, like, why can't you show it to the world? <laughs> why can't you show it to the world that, okay, I'm proud of this person. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm to be in this situation. Yeah. Ah, it is well. So you said your um your um love language is quality time. Is that all? That's it. Oh, yeah. quality time no, no, and then physical yeah, yeah. touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have two love languages. We have the primary love language. And second. Mm-hmm. I think the primary love language is... Quality time while the second love language is physical touch it goes that way. So is that how you like to receive love, or is that how you like it? Or how you show your 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 own love? No, that's the way I like to receive love, and I show that, love differently. How do you show love? That, that, I, I think as a Nigerian man, it should be act of. Don't do that, Nigerian man. Talk about your gifts. <laughs> okay, ask myself. It is act of service and gifts. Yeah. You I'm like giving. I like giving and then... And you like you know, act of service. You can have someone to go and watch yeah. plates. It means be, be, be chivalrous. I mean, yeah. I think that you and your partner can communicate differently. Let's say now, you, you are used to, uh, like what you said, act of service. You want to, even if you, even if, even though you don't do it now, you something you want to particularize, something that you want to do. Yeah, that, yeah. So yeah. Uh, let's say your partner now is now someone that likes... Uh, I like uh, words of affirmation. Yeah. Saying, yeah, yeah. That comp- just compliment the person and stuff like that. What would you do? How would you do it? I would, I would compliment. I would. Um, I don't know. You will learn. <laughs> I will learn. Uh, it depends. It depends on the girl. It depends on if I really like the girl. You know how much the girl means to me. Mm-hmm. If I can actually um, do some things for her, I can actually learn some things for her just because I love her. Yeah, surely. Saying saying nice words are. Uh, it can, it can be learned, it can be, can be developed. So it depends on the girl, it depends on the relationship. Yeah, I think I, I, I think uh, one thing people need to understand is that your partners are not witches and wizards. They cannot uh, they cannot know what you want unless you tell them. So you have to communicate well, communicate effectively. But I think the yeah, first yeah. thing people need to know is to understand yeah. themselves first, know what you like before you even get into the relationship. So that when you are Showing your partner, not showing your partner mixed signals. I like words I, of information. I, I like words of information. Uh, but I think my yeah. top is um, words in quality time. And quality time. I like quality time a lot because I just feel like it's at other time you get to know the person you're with. You understand? The gifts, they are good. The after service is good. good you understand? But like quality time is just when you understand your partner. You, I mean, for me, because that's my, that's my own way of receiving love and even showing love. Like, I like these uninterrupted moments. Like, when I'm there, when you are there with me, I want to know that, okay, you are there. I can feel your presence. Even if you are quiet, even if I'm not saying anything, then just feel like you are around, you're listening to me and stuff like that. Yeah. No phones. Yeah. Even if we are just talking on phone, like, oh, hi, what's all this up? I just want to feel like, oh, you're, you're here with me. I can feel you. That's it. And it's not about talking for like 24 hours or like 10 hours do, and stuff like do, that. Do, 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 do you know we've always had this conversation about the class and the um, Social class, we have the top, we have the rich, we have the middle class, and we have the poor. Mm-hmm. And love language can also be categorized in bad oh, settings. Why did you say that? Should I, should I, should I? Yeah. Okay, because for a girl that comes from a middle class, mm. we, have, we, have, we, have, we have top middle class, and we have a lower middle class. A girl mm. that comes from the top middle class, or mm. rich girl, would not value gifts. Most of, as a Nigerian, most top girls will not value kids. They will prefer love languages like quality time, words of affirmation, and act of service. You know, those three things. And because they already have the gifts. Nothing you can buy can actually sway them to love you or mm-hmm. sway them to, to do something for you. But mm-hmm. quality time and um, act of service or word of affirmation can go a long way. 
But for a girl that comes uh, to in like a girl from the middle class, average like, home, yeah. or lower average home, any small thing will sway an iPhone 6, iPhone 12, iPhone 13, <laughs> a Range Rover, a wristwatch. Because she never had those shit. She I'm sorry, my, sorry, pardon my language, she never had those things. So things like that will sway her. And it it, it still falls down on the country, on the economy. As I mean everybody was average. Or everybody mm. was the, the, the poverty level is not really high. Mm-hmm. People it small, small things. And then, then you see girls that uh with a coast home, you love because of coast home. Things you that don't blame them though. What are they? That's how they feel that it's supposed to that's how people are supposed to love them. That's how they, that's how they understand it. And, and the funny thing is that I feel like I feel like your love, love languages change as you grow. You understand? Okay. Right, yeah, yeah, I can say that I can say that oh I love gifts because I'm receiving them. But when they yeah. think, when we get deep to the deep, when you're like, okay, give the card, this gift I want to take it. Again. You understand? Okay. You will, what do you yes. want to buy? Yes, you will do you buy it. Yes, okay. you, you, that's when you know that, okay, this is my love language. I want to do this thing. And it's very hard. It's very it's going to be very hard for your partner when you have, he, has been, he has been used or be he or she has been used to um, a particular way of giving or showing you love before. And all of a sudden you just switch. Let me say something like, Babe, I bought you gifts. I'm like, guy, I don't need your gifts. Yeah, I'm done with gifts and stuff like that. Yeah, I want something more. You understand? That's why I don't know which one is going to be better. If you or your partner have the same love language, or if you have different love languages, which one do you think is going to be better? Uh, I think it should be different because you can't. I can't be giving you gifts. You be giving me gifts back. (laughs) I can't say I love you. I say that. We all say I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. So that's to be. That's to be. I believe it should be word and opposite. It's so interesting. So let us like, okay, break down. For, um, you already talked about it in the beginning, but let's just like break it down to like the down down <laughs> for people that don't really, really understand like the um, Gary Chapman's um, I Love Languages. Um, so the first one is... So um, like, what, uh, oh, that's an what's information. Yes. So, um, and this one is when you tell your partner uh, sweet, sweet things. It's verbal expressions. Yes. And before you can even do all those things, you have to notice your partner. You understand? Like, now, nah, it's not that, oh, sometimes, some, sometimes words get tiring. When you just say, I love you, and some people just say, I love you to get away with a lot of things. You understand? Like, now, nah, just look at me now. Nah. I mean, let me, let me just say, I look at you, and I'm like, oh my God, you look so different. Did you cut your hair? Your hair is really nice, and stuff like that. Little, little things like that really helps. Not that, oh, you can end you say, I love you. I love you, not the only case. Don't be telling me, I love you. It's not the only case, yeah, but just look at the person. Yeah, just say that. Okay, notice like the little, little, little changes and appreciate those things. Okay. Look at the effort that the person is putting into something and appreciate it. Even if you cannot help the person, like the act of service, you cannot be there to help the person do the thing. But just be like, oh, babe, you're doing well. Physical touch for for Nigerian guys. Physical touch, please, it is not sex. It is it's not. not no, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be sex. It can be platonic, so it doesn't have to be sex. Like. No, Nigerian guy. Uh, when a Nigerian man or when a guy, not Nigerian, when a guy hears she's single touch, he thinks it's sex. It's not sex. Yes, it's don't tell you. Because sometimes your partner will never um, like all those kind of things. Now, yeah, yes. Like you are outside, like yeah, you're holding hands. It's you know, you know, you know, enough. You know, some people are touchy. You know, some people are touchy naturally. Uh, wait, please, you. guys, please, this is it. When you find a girl that is like, maybe she's touching your shoulder and everything like that. Not to say she likes you every time. It's not that she's trying to... pass the sign. Yes. <laughs> she's not trying to, she to pass any sign to you. When she has the time, she will tell you. Okay, no, who will not tell you, but like... Yeah, that, no. That, yeah, no, will not tell you, but like, eh, it's just, no, we can't, no, we can't do that. Oh, she wants to get down that get down. You understand? <laughs> yeah, the other ones, well, that's the service. We already explained you, right? That's your love language. Or, yeah, that's what that's how you like to show love. Um, yeah, I like to show love, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's the right about that one. That one's about you doing something for the person. It's more you about the actual thing. Helpful, uh, you want to do something helpful for you to your partner, to your yeah. Thing. Yeah. And so, then lack of lack of support kind of that like this kind of attitude can actually help. Actually, break up somebody that loves, like, um, even not speaking, no, no, even, you're not even if you're not speaking your partner's love language in any form, even the person you, even the person just like give, it can bring like, no. like, like a no sense things break, to the relationship, it can break up, almost, yeah, yeah, because and you think that you're doing your best, you think that you're doing what you know how to do best, you understand, but you're not actually speaking yeah. the person's 
language and which can form to like break to like break up. But do you think that all these things don't really matter to all these basing your like you're trying to like base your love on on a particular um five what's the name languages because but we can we can't we can't actually we can't actually um bring everything to just five the other ways to show yes that's what I'm saying you have to that's why you have to communicate you have to understand your partner you don't be saying that to me they mention five which one is your own <laughs> but everything is <still> like <laughs> it's true because like the quality time like those people may think that okay quality time is when I have the time to talk to you you understand yeah. but the quality time is actually when even when you don't have time like create time for the person you understand like prioritize time for that person and the person gets to even if it's just one minute I say, hi, I just mm-hmm. want to hear your voice or something like that. The person is going to really appreciate it. And your day is going to, you will never have cost to come and start coming home to go and start shalaying again. You understand? And I feel like, I feel like um, when, when we raise our love, when this love language, it, it makes us, it limits change because you want to continue. Just like I'm going to believe in all these zodiac signs and stuff like that. You know, the hide behind that the zodiac sign, they hide behind it to do very many, many bitchy things that I don't know. But I think that's the same thing that love language ma- might for some, for, for, for some relationship in my cause because you cannot just say that oh, uh, your own, the way you know how to show love is lack of service and you cannot bend to your partner or compromise and help your partner when the partner needs physical yeah. and I, that's how I, that's how I, used to, I used to do my own. That's it. Can't check our book. Can't check the test we did in the personality test we did. I am lack of service. That is all. Yeah. And, um, and even though we have like the primary and secondary, like you said, I think everybody needs to understand that okay, everybody let, let everything. We are the five. We is that no, we, we can we can't learn. Yes, yeah. it's just that we have like the top ones. But when you look down, we think that there's nobody that doesn't like gifts. But okay. people, the way people like gifts is going to be different. You understand? If people need to understand their partners and uh, be open to change, don't um, don't just Say that okay, you're 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 brought up in a certain way. Your parents not do love in front of you, you and be, you, you, know, you should be open-minded. Yeah, open-minded. Yes, don't say that because your parents not give you love, you're not going to give your partner love. Don't say that because your parents not your parents not or society we cannot hold hands. Please hold your partner's hand. There's nothing wrong in it. You understand? Don't be doing like strangers. <laughs> We, yes. we, we, need, we need to change our mentality. Our yeah, yeah, no, we need to actually change it. Our culture, we're not, we're not really used to expressing love. We don't know how to do it. I think this generation needs to learn. We, sh- we need to unlearn that mentality from our parents that, oh, you're not supposed to show your partner how you love. Do we have any love? Any, any, any love? See, see, finish. Any love story in Nigeria? You know, we have Cleopatra, we have Bonnie and Clyde, we have um, Jack and Rose, we have... We have Annie, Annie, uh, Annie and Two Face. <laughs> Oh, mm. but I just think we should just like learn to like show love and uh, unlearn those all those things that uh, as a guy I'm supposed to show love because uh, many lack of respect will happen. Nobody respects you. Yeah. I'm just, you, uh, you start giving, you start giving you a statement of but, but, but you know, but you know, but you know, but you know, among men, amongst men, like if, if you have a group of men as guys, mm. and then you see a guy, one of your guys is in love. You, you feel he's not in the total sense. Once you see a guy in love, you feel he's something out. You feel, oh, this guy don't they, don't they know. And it's just... Mm, they catch really. Like, but it's not really bad change, in and, it. Yeah, there's not bad in it. Like, yeah. You know? I think guys, yeah, I think yeah. guys should even be more open to other love languages like what's the word of information. You understand? Show, yeah, yeah, tell yeah, your yeah, partners yeah. that you love them. Some, a lot of girls love it. A lot of girls love people telling them they look good. They are beautiful and stuff like that, but it's just very hard for guys to show it because some girls don't love it. You know, you know, you know, you know sometimes when we go to the mall, we're like we go be on the mall, and then I'm like, let me just caco. This is like you look beautiful. She just look like and that one day, that one day, it's not Nigerian thing. You're like ah, yeah, that look tough. Because <laughs> that's not, because, because I'm, I'm, I'm as Nigerian. Nigerian. Yeah, we we don't really we don't really oh, take compliments. Use that bad eye look me. Yes, we don't really take compliments. Well, with this country, <laughs> it is very relevant. I really enjoyed the conversation. Um, so thank you so much for coming. I'm very sure people learned a lot or okay. uh, learned one or two things from this thing. Uh, you can take the test. I think I will put like links to um, where you can take the personality test yeah, yeah. so that your relationship can blossom and be good in 2021. We're not hearing it end in tears or uh, 
he broke up with Miss Story <laughs> or social media. You know that crying. Is I was like I did. I never experienced it. Ah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> and, and sometimes and, and it's not sometimes the relationship is not because of oh cheating or something. It's just because. People are it's not, just like you're not yeah, you're not connecting. You know, like the compatibility level is just yeah. The chemistry may be there, but you're not. People are not compatible. That's you understand? Cool, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much, Isa, for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank Bye.